Hey everybody, Rob Nelson here, and we're gonna show you how to do 360 degree photos. It's not gonna take you long, but maybe like six hours to really figure this out because there's a couple apps involved. We're gonna make 360 degree photos. I love 360. You like 360? <laughs> but we're gonna do it with the phone, and then we're gonna add text in Photoshop, and we're gonna upload it to your website. It's gonna be super cool. It's a, like a whole workflow, and it's gonna be awesome, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is, because I'm gonna get my kids to do it. All right, check this out. You're falling? Yeah. What are you doing? How do you need, do you need help? Since the first step is image capture, Leo and I decided to pick up August from school. What have you been up to? Da, 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 da. And give him the task of capturing the images. And to get there, we have to go to the playground and go around that house. Okay, Augs, I have a special thing for you to do. I know. You remember? Panorama. <laughs> Panorama? And we're going to really? make it into a virtual reality thing. It's going to be pretty cool. Maybe we can cool. do it right here. Well, I have a space for us over here. So I handed August the phone, pulled up the app, and just let him go. And it's actually pretty self-explanatory once you get the app, so I don't even feel it's necessary to go through that process here in this tutorial. Well, they will stitch together better, though. So just keep going, keep going. Get everything all the way around, 360 degrees. It's about 20 photos. There is one important tip I have, though, for taking these photos in the field. So instead of taking your camera and moving like this, even, put your camera here and you move your body around it like this you see yeah that that works that's better all right so August is actually behind me on the iPhone right at the moment I use an Android device I use the pixel 2 which integrates into it there's apps for both of them uh, these are the apps right here makes it super super simple and all you have to do is click through these images take the photos then you just bring them back to Photoshop and that's where the real fun begins. Wow. We are back in the studio over here. I have August Nelson, who is going to help me with this whole thing. Um, we took a bunch of uh, photospheres, basically 360 degree images with the phone. And, and then we're gonna show you how to edit them up. That's the fun part. By the way, you can also do it with your DSLR. If you take 24, 30 photos all in a circle, then all you have to do is go to Photoshop, File, Automate, select those files, photo merge and then it'll stitch it all together for you and it'll do a pretty good job. I'll put a link down below to one where I did it that. But that's what not that's not what this lesson's about, right? Right. That's about all of the images that we took with this phone. Making them better than they are right now. Going to make them look awesome. Right. That's, that's the key. Yeah, that's the key. Okay, so let me show you August where everything comes in. So if you go to Google Photos because all of these we can save to Google Photos and you do a quick search yeah. here oh, for Photosphere. That, that like. So you can see these are all of the Photospheres that we've taken all year long. You're actually in a lot of these, uh, believe it or not. Here, I, I made this easy. They all come in flat. I went to Photoshop and I, you can pick which one we do. How about that? Does that sound good? So this is in Israel. This is like the sacred spot. This is uh, uh, Jesus was kind of went up this road. Pontius Pilate lived up here. That's the Wailing Wall. This is in Italy. Look what happens when you do it in 360. It's so cool. Look, like you're in the ruins. And you can look up. That's a little bit of a glitch. We might be able to fix it, but. This is Magnetic Island. This is Australia. This is also Magnetic Island. So like box jellies here, crocodiles over there. Remember when we went to the Redwoods? These are the Redwoods. That's mom in two different places right there. And we'd have to get rid of my foot, but I think we could do it. Do, do you remember Mount Vesuvius? Yeah, yeah. The one that blew up and like then and, and killed all those people in Pompeii? Okay, well that's what this is. And then this is Hitler's headquarters at Castle Schoenlis. This is King Solomon's mines. Yeah. This is Israel and that's right down there is where we found uh, the tombs with the people inside of them that dated back to like 7,000 right. years ago. Yeah, right, okay. Well, we'll move on to the next one. This one is the playground that we shot yesterday. Here's the last one. That's the one that you shot last night. So which yeah. one do you want to work on? This one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the one of our backyard. Yeah, and okay. <laughs> there's a glitch right there. Before we make this spherical, we're just gonna try to fix some of these glitches. So August noted that there are a lot of little tiny glitches in this, and part of what that's caused by is if you're not rotating like right around the lens, 
and you're kind of like moving the camera, sometimes it can get out of sync. But even on an image like this, it's there's not that many glitches. So we're just gonna live with a couple of these. To fix the glitches, you just gotta know Photoshop a little bit better. And that's not really the point of this tutorial. So let me put, the, let's fix the feet though. You wanna do that? Yeah, okay, let's fix the feet. Yeah. That's gonna be an easy fix. All right, first of all, let's merge all of these down. Uh, so I select all of them, Apple E. So now we just have one image up there. This is one layer basically. Now all I do, watch this, you see that that says 3D, I go spherical panorama, new panorama from layer selected. Okay, now wait for it. This is the magic. All of a sudden, 3D image. And look, I can grab it and I can move around. How cool is that? That down. was such a striking pose. Then look down. Oh, and there's your feet. And then we can get rid of those. You want to? Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice is over here, it says field of view is eight, which is good because that's roughly an eight millimeter lens and that's what people are gonna see if they see it on Facebook or something. But I'm gonna give myself a little more real estate and let's just say one. So we have a little bit of room here. Now we're working in the 3D world. You'll notice I have one layer. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clone stamp tool over here. Um, right there, that's the clone stamp tool. Watch, this is what the clone stamp tool does. So if I hit option key, and what it'll let me do is it'll let me select, say like a patch of grass here, and I'll click. Now watch, you see that patch of grass? It's moving over your feet. And then I'm just gonna paint your feet out. See that? It's like, where'd your feet go? Like you can't even tell that your feet were there. Perfect. Voila, it's perfect, right? Completely perfect. And Easter egg. Like literally one of our Easter eggs <laughs> from last year. How about we add a little bit of text and, and that'll be the tutorial. Where should we put some text? How about I put my name on my chest? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. No, 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 no. No, why not? That's cool. Because we can like... So people know who I am. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's do yeah, that. Let's... Okay, yeah. add a text layer and I'm going to just write Rob. Rob, just like that. Bam. See how I did that? And can you put the color of your name on? What color do you want it? Make it any color you want. Red? Red? Red it is. That way people know. Rob. And I'll put it right in the center. Okay, now the one thing that you will notice is that I can click on this background layer and if I move around, they're not actually synced up. It's just one layer on top of the other one. So what I have to do is I have to merge them down. So all I do is I click here on the text layer and I hit Command E or I'll just show you where to get it. You go to layer, merge down, bam. And now all of a sudden, they're part of this spherical image again. Now if we move it around, you can see that pretty much stuck to my chest. I gotta show you this one other thing. It's super cool. You can actually get to the spherical map if you click this button here. See, it says spherical map. I'm going to double click it. This is how you work with things in Photoshop. So now what, say, say for instance, I wanted to change the color of our house. I could do that. Should we do that real quick? Maybe just turn the house red. I can do, I can turn it red. That's one thing I can do. <laughs> that's what's gonna, I know that's what it's going to look like. We're going to have a blue light in there too. Here's the magic. We just did this adjustment layer here. Watch this. I'm gonna go back to, this, to the 3D image. It changed it right there. Isn't that cool? Like it already made that adjustment in the 360 degree image. Now all we do is we go up to 3D, spherical panorama, export panorama, and I have a particular place that I'm putting these panoramas, and we're calling this backyard neat. saved. I could upload that directly to Facebook or um, there's this site called Memento 360 which I've already su um, subscribed into. I'll go to click on my media. I'll go to upload and then all I'm going to do I'm just going to select the file backyard neat. It takes just a second to upload. Watch it's going. I actually have a blog article that's going with this. It's on a WordPress site right here. So I'm going to edit this WordPress site. I've gone uh, into plugins and I've downloaded the Memento 360 plugin, which allows me now all I have to do 
is cut and paste this particular word, memento press URL equals, so I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to put this one in, equals, and then I'm going to end that bracket. And in here, all I do is I select my backyard image that I already have, I create share or uh, create link, I copy that, yeah. I go to my blog post, I paste it in, and then this is going to be called backyard neat. Okay, view the post. So first of all, we have all the steps in this post, and then we have all of these different 360 images, including, wait for it, backyard neat with our orange house all integrated together. Let's hit that button. Oh, and yeah, you can click that button and put on your viewers and watch it on the TV. We did it! August and I showed you how easy it was to take 360 degree photos, um, work them up in Photoshop, add a text or two, change the colors. Like, subscribe, and follow the us every week for 52 things because we got new videos coming out all the time i hope you guys enjoyed this uh <laughs> we will see you next tuesday and a big shout out to those of you supporting this outreach on patreon we couldn't do it without you check out more of that for fun perks and ways to stay in touch with us and again thank you <laughs>